Yo what's up, welcome back to this channel. Today we are looking at a few of the most important motion graphic elements which are these really cool lines which have multiple different effects and yeah you can use these everywhere basically depending on how your project should look like and they all have one thing in common which is they are all super easy and yeah with this being said I'd say let's just start. So let's go into our new composition and just delete everything besides our background and yeah let's create our first line so let's just right click in here go to new and add a shape layer and now we can select the pen tool right on the toolbar here and just draw a nice line which the path should follow later just something like this should look good and yeah let's open this up and play with a few settings so just open up the contents and the shape and first of all we can delete the fill and open up the stroke so let's first of all change the color of the stroke to something like dark gray so we can see it better and also increase the stroke brightness by something like 30 maybe yeah this looks good and uh, let's make this a bit smoother just like this and yeah this is cool, but this isn't animated of course, and we can change that really easily by just adding a trim paths effect. So just go to add and add the trim path effect and also open this up. And yeah, let's animate this. So just go to the beginning of our animation and bring the end down to zero and just put in a keyframe and then just go forward a few seconds, like three seconds maybe, and just bring the end back to 100. And yeah, now we can see it's a little bit animated, but we want the end to follow as well. So let's just go forward like one second at the beginning and also put in a keyframe at start at zero and go to the end just a second later again and just put the start to 100. So now we can see the end and the start is animated and this just follows the line. But yeah, depending on how long you want the line to be, you can change the first start keyframe. So if you just put this one forward, the line will be longer. And if you put it backwards, the line will be shorter. So you can just pick whatever you like. And yeah, this looks really cool. And this is our basic line. Of course, you can just play with the, with the whiteness, if you can make it smaller or larger even. But let's duplicate this one and give it some more interesting effects. So let's just press Ctrl D on our keyboard to duplicate this. And you can also press R to rotate it. And let's just rotate it 180 degrees. So it's on the opposite side, for example. And yeah, now we can give the upper one some cool effects like the Venetian lines, for example. Just apply this one and now we can increase the transition completion and we can see we get this cool block effects and yeah you can just play around with these settings um, depending on how long you want the blocks to be and everything but yeah I think this looks really cool you can also change the angle to something like 30 maybe and yeah now we already have this really cool line which has these nice yeah little blocks and yeah this is really nice but let's also yeah make another one so let's actually select this one the basic one and give it also some cool effects like this smoke effect that you can see right here so let's just select this one and search for the rough and edges effect and just apply it and as we can see it already looks kind of interesting but yeah let's play around with a few settings again so first of all let's increase the border setting to something like 25 maybe and yeah now you can see it looks a bit more like a smoke effect or something like that but if the edges get a blip a bit blurry you can also increase the edge sharpness to something like four or five and then it should be sharp again and yeah this is really cool you can also animate this yeah this this effect by just going to the beginning and putting in a keyframe at evolution and then just go forward and put in the evolution into something like one or two and now this is a bit more animated I don't know if you can see it but yeah it looks way cooler 
and yeah of course you can also change the other settings like the complexity if you increase this one you will get more details if you decrease it it will be more simple or the the scale it's basically fully up to you on how you design this line but yeah i think the results are really amazing and yeah with these effects with the with the yeah smoke effect with the block line effect or with no effects you have a lot of options of creating different types of lines and yeah that's already it basically thanks for watching